Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, May 3rd, 2021, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, if you saw Saturday's video, I kind of gave you an overview for the month, uh, the expected peaks and valleys for the month of May with the Astro Excel tool. So today I'm, I want to show you the week ahead. It's just uh, going to dial in on the indicator a little bit and then I want to show you how a couple of the other indicators will help you tie in uh, trade setup. So what you can see here, we came in uh, last night. This is Sunday night's open at 1800 on the second. What happened, we had this push down to a low uh, around 3 a.m. on the green line, around 2 a.m. on the blue line. Now the green line is projecting an up move to about 21-2200 on the 4th and the blue line is in the 2100 area for a peak also. Then we've got downward pressure on the green line the rest of the week into Friday's close here at uh, 1600 on the 7th. What you want to do with this, you can use the blue line to get you in the area of where peaks and valleys are going to occur inside these trend expectations. So this green line, the market's obviously not going to travel straight up and down to this, but we're going to have our usual swing gyrations. And you can use these peaks and valleys on the blue line to identify where those uh, turning points are going to take place. Ideally, the better ones seem to be the ones that are outside the plus 10 or minus 10 lines here. So we'd be looking at uh, an area for a potentially a high to take place around 1 o'clock today. This area is kind of flat here, so it's kind of wide. The spike peaks are going to help you dial in a little bit better. Like on the 4th right here, about 12 noon, we have a low. In, the, in an ideal world, we're in an uptrend. We get a corrective move down till around noon, and we use this point along with a more dialed-in version of this to pick that area for that low and to get long here again. Now, we had this uh, 2 o'clock low this morning on the, the green line and the blue line. Uh, so the blue line was right around 2. The green line was right around 3. Let's take a look at a couple of the other indicators and see if they would have helped us to identify a setup in this area. Okay, now here's the rainbow indicator. This is the ES uh, four minute chart on here now. And this is the area that we're talking about right here. This area, this low, this particular low came in at uh, 208. And you can see we had the rainbow trigger on the uh, fifth and sixth panel here, we the end of the the green uh, block right there, A5 was that trigger point, and we got the reversal bar right outside, right at the end of that window, about four minutes after that. So that was um, one of uh, the indicators confirming that is an area to take the long. Let's move to the Vedic chart. Here's the Vedic chart. We're dialed in a little bit tighter. Same chart, the ES4 minute. You can see we've got the bright, bright green window, our top or bottom finding window right here. You can see that window ended at 204 there. And right there at 208, we had the uh, reversal. So our expectation with these windows is a top or bottom. And we got that bottom in there. In, in tandem with the Astro Excel tool and also the rainbow trigger. And a lot of times what happens when these um, indicator panes switch, we also get reversals right on those points. So now you can see a little bit later today we're going to have another expectation in this white window of a new high or low. We're in that window now moving upward that window goes till about 8.46, so the way it's looking now, we may have a new high 
in this time frame here. Uh, as, you know, as most uh, everything is looking bullish early in the morning, so we'll most likely get a new high somewhere in this white window. So that's it for today. Hope this video helps you guys. Hope it uh, helps to illustrate the power of the Perfect Storm tools. We will. Uh, I, I would also like to make you aware that these tools plot in advance. They don't change looking back in reverse. These tools plot ahead and don't change. So what you see is what you get and it stays that way. So that's it for today. We'll be back again with another video on Tuesday. Uh, thanks for watching.